All right, so boom. Don't you want to be free when you're standing on the edge of time? One word's all I need to relieve you of your rising weed. So my Mamiya RZ67 has passed away. And we gather here today to celebrate the life of one of the most important things that's come into my life since I started on this film photography journey. And while this particular RZ67 had its flaws from the moment I got it, I will absolutely truly miss this camera, but I do think it's time to move on and start fresh with something new. I will say that it kind of helped shape my shooting style and just overall shaped my style of photography over these last couple of years. Saying goodbye to this camera is like kind of saying goodbye to an era of my photography career. It was one of the first film cameras that got me into shooting film. I've taken some of my favorite photos that I've taken in my film photography career while using this camera. All right, so as we get the vibes going up in here, I know some of y'all, probably most of y'all are probably thinking, what camera am I going to be shooting with next, if not the RZ? And some of y'all probably already seen this coming, but I have fully transitioned into being a Pentax boy. And might I add that I look pretty good as a Pentax boy. And I chose to switch to the Pentax 6-7 because I'm not gonna lie, the photo ads from back in the day are pretty convincing. But in all seriousness, I did kind of miss shooting with an SLR style type of camera, mainly for my work. So I do think the Pentax 6-7 will be a breath of fresh air and kind of just a good switch up overall for me to kind of get back in the groove of things and just kind of start with something new. So I do think it's going to be fun getting to know this camera and kind of just starting over in a way with my photography. So I am super, 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 super excited to have this camera and now be a Pentax boy like the rest of my Pentax brothers out there. But first things first, since I just got this camera, I must take the infamous in the mirror selfie with my new film camera to break it in. And also my room is getting hit with some sexy light, so might as well take some pictures of my room while we're at it. Shout out Legacy Photo Lab for these scans. By far the best scans I've ever gotten for any of my film photos since I started film photography. Check out that link in my description and tap in with Legacy Photo Lab, especially if you want some film photos as crispy as these.
All right, so if y'all want to talk about photographer shit, let's talk about this. There's a lot of things I will do, and there's also a lot of things I won't do to get a shot. And I can guarantee you right now that if I was shooting with Mamma Mia RZ67, I would not be doing this to get this photo. And the photos, okay, but that's a part of being a photographer. Doing a whole lot for just a little bit of satisfaction. So my homie Demorie was in town from LA and he wanted to see what Detroit was all about. So we hopped in a whip and just looked for some interesting stuff to shoot. You don't really see tire swings every day and i've lived in detroit for you know all my life and i've never seen a tire swing so i had to take advantage of this tire swing like a little kid And so the next day I decided I was going to go out and shoot some midday photos with Jada. I don't know if it makes sense, but in the Midwest, the light that transitions from winter to spring right before it's fully, fully spring is probably the best light the Midwest gets all year. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. Needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone, I miss your face Late o'clock, body talk There's no need to bring it up Nothing you say makes it better
Before we get started, please go get into a physical altercation with the like button. Liking the videos, uh, commenting, uh, subscribing pushes the channel into the algorithm so more people can see the videos that we work so very hard on. But um, outside of that, yeah, just support the channel, like the videos, please. I really, 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 really would appreciate it. All right, so cool. I definitely don't want to get on the end of this video and talk y'all ear off about a camera that y'all already know about. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all already shoot with the Pentax 6.7 or know somebody who do or watch people on YouTube who shoot with the Pentax. It's a pretty good camera, I'm not gonna lie. I know that I made a video a couple months ago last year basically saying that I probably would never switch to the Pentax, but if y'all know me, y'all know that I usually change my mind about a lot of the things that I once had um, a different feeling about. So this is one of those things. I think that just after my RZ67 has had all the problems that it's had, I kind of just wanted to move on completely from um, the RZ, just the Mamiya system of cameras. I kind of just wanted to start shooting something new. If you're a photographer or whatever, you know the feeling that I'm talking about when you just want to switch it up. So I do love the Pentax. It is a very, very, very good camera. There are some things that I'm not familiar with, some things that I, I need to get used to, like loading the camera with the RZ67. You can take the film back out and load the film back um, separately from the camera. With this, you load directly into the camera and my hands are small, the, the camera's kind of awkward, it's built awkwardly, so um, I kind of I struggle for now loading film as fast as I did when I had the RZ, so that's just something that I need to get used to. But other than that, I haven't had any issues. I've actually been enjoying shooting with this camera a lot more than I uh, enjoy shooting with my RZ um, over the last couple months, so. Yeah, I know that the Pentax comes with its share of problems um, and things that, you know, you got to watch out for because, I mean, these cameras also break. But um, yeah, I haven't really had any of those issues. This one is, I mean, it, it looks brand new. There's like maybe one scuff on it or something, but it feels good, looks good. Um, and I'm just excited to continue to shoot with it and uh, feature it more on this channel and just, you know, share the work that I make with it on this channel. So yeah new things new beginnings and uh yeah i don't really know what else to say other than yeah just um rp mamiya uh pour one out for mamiya when y'all go outside today and uh yeah also a few things before we get up out of here i do have a discord community at the time of, of recording this video it has a thousand plus members so it is growing um there's a lot of people in there talking about photography there's a lot of people in there sharing photography sharing outfits sharing what they're shooting with um just having a good time man it's a good overall place to get away from the pressure of social media to share your photos and just like connect and meet other photographers so um so far i'm loving what the community um is doing also i'm going to be streaming on twitch and on my twitch i'm probably going to be streaming reacting to those photos that's getting posted in the discord reacting to the fit pics just um going over the discord and just you know talking in there um editing videos editing photos reacting to like other photographers videos and stuff like that so um yeah bro subscribe to me on chit uh subscribe to me on twitch join the discord and yeah bro let's let's run it up but other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Gonna get out of here. Gonna go do some shit, man. You know the vibes. Let's get it. Mm -hmm.